That's just how it goes now. That's just how it goes now. And I'll be living my life. Oh, <laughs> what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Beer of the day, old trusty. So, I'm still laughing here. I was just watching uh, Darius's new video. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it, but hilarious. I had to watch it twice. That's how funny it was. I haven't seen a video that funny in a long time. <laughs> so, I mean... I know not all of you are subscribed to his channel, but uh, he was talking about another group in the in the gaming community. There seems to be a little bit of uh, infighting going on. We won't we won't get into it too much here, uh, but a lot of it has to do with uh, Smash JT and Tipster. And I thought it would be funny if we had a conversation. Well, maybe not funny uh, if we talked about you know if those two guys got into a fight, who would win? So, I mean, the main thing is, when you're talking about who would win in a fight, you have to, you know, is it going to be MMA rules? Is it going to be no holds barred? You know, street brawl? Is it going to be, you know, WWE mentality? So I think it's tough. You know, if, you look at, if you're looking at it from, you know, an MMA perspective, Tipster is a big guy. But as far as cardio is concerned... That goes to Smash JT for sure. So I think MMA rules, if they're in the in the octagon, I think for Smash JT to come out on top, he's going to have to go for either a single leg or a double leg takedown, get Tipster to the ground, and he's going to have to basically work side control, try to get full mount, and sec secure a Kimura... Or a rear naked choke to get the job done. I, I don't know if he could pull it off. If he can't get Tipster to the ground, it's going to be a short night. You know, Tipster, all it takes is just one shot. And uh, he could probably KO anybody. He's probably got one punch knockout power. He's got a lot of, obviously a lot of weight behind his punching ability. But, like I said, if you get Tipster to the ground, he's probably not going to get up. Um, you know, his cardio is probably suspect. Let's 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 be honest here. Um, so I think, like I said, if if Tipster can keep it standing up, if he can defend the takedown, and uh, you know work his dirty boxing, then I think Tipster has a chance. But like I said, if Smash, you know, if Jeff can get the fight to the ground quickly in the first round, they like said secure that single leg or that double leg takedown. Then I think that's all she wrote because, um, like I said, once you get a big man like that on the ground, it's hard for him to get up. Now, if it's like Kimbo Slice Backyard Brawl, wow, fuck, it's going to be Tipster, obviously. <laughs> like, can you just imagine that guy? Wow. He would just be swinging haymakers. You know, he'd be swinging for the fence. I, I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to be stuck in an elevator with that guy. He would probably kick my ass. So, you know, it's an interesting topic for sure. So let me know in the comments below. Uh, Tipster versus Smash J2. Smash JT. Who would win that fight? Uh, leave leave your answers below and uh, let's get a conversation going. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a good night.